the history of WebXR. You could argue that the history of VR and AR, the two technologies that are the foundation of WebXR, began even before motion pictures. Victorians marvelled at stereoscopic pictures and in a sense the use of lenses and providing a subtly different view for each eye is one of the cornerstones of the VR headset. But I feel that the story really begins in 1960 with the headset, the first HMD head-mounted display. The device used head movements to control a remote camera and had a video screen for each eye. At the time, the idea of virtual reality hadn't even been considered. The device was used to be able to remotely view a dangerous location. The father figure of VR, and much of computer graphics, is Ivan Sutherland, who back in 1965 described a device he called the Ultimate Display. This device would, via an HMD, present a virtual world with which the viewer could interact. The paper he presented can be described as the blueprint for future VR development. Three years later, with his student Bob Sproul, he created the first VR AR head-mounted display. Connected this time to a computer, not a camera. It was so heavy, it needed to be connected to the ceiling and was given the name the Sword of Damocles. It was nearly 20 years later, in 1987, that the term virtual reality was first used. During that period, flight simulators and hand-tracking gloves were developed. Arcade machines arrived in the early 90s, pioneered by the Virtuality Group. In an attempt to reach a wide audience, Sega experimented with VR headsets, but the technology of the early to mid-90s made creating the devices for an acceptable price point and adequate performance was just not feasible. We need to jump forward to 2008 for the first application of AR. A German advertising agency created a marker-based AR app. Marker-based AR means the camera view is processed to scan each frame of video for a marker image. If the image is found, then its position and orientation in screen is calculated in order to position a virtual object in its place. Customers who bought a magazine and used the app were able to see a BMW Mini appearing out of the magazine advertisement. In 2011, National Geographic got in on the act and Coca-Cola in 2013. In 2012, we see the launch of Oculus Rift headsets and Google created their cardboard device allowing mobile phone users to play with VR at a very cheap price point. As mobile devices get more and more capable with faster processors and great graphic capabilities, they also have some amazing sensors that can be used to determine their position and orientation. You probably own a device that's capable of showing AR and VR content. Virtual reality for the web has been around for over 20 years. VRML, virtual reality markup language, was first specified in November 1994. VRML never really took the world by storm, but the latest devices, mobile phones and VR headsets, are really starting to make immersive experiences on the web a reality, albeit a virtual one. The story of WebXR started with Apple creating ARKit and Google ARCore. Both these code libraries harness the sensors on mobile devices and attempt to convert the data into a 3D analysis of the real world. Using this data, it's possible to determine a viewer's position and orientation, which in WebXR speak we call our pose. But the technology goes further than just understanding a viewer's pose and then positioning virtual assets in a 3D rendered view that are tracked by the viewer as they move their mobile devices or move their head if using a headset. In the example of a headset, the view in the left and right eyepieces are subtly different taking account of the distance between the eyes. 
the result of very convincing, immersive experience. Once ARKit and ARCore have provided the essential, low-level code necessary to use the sensors in this way, it was only a matter of time before this was available in the browser. Surprisingly, after being first to the table with ARKit, Apple had been a little slow bringing the technology to their default browser, Safari. Whereas Google brought this level of tracking to the Chrome mobile browser with version 81. At the time of recording, the Can I Use website, a great resource for developers, shows that Edge and Chrome are green for WebXR in the desktop and just Chrome on the mobile browser. So you're at the cutting edge of web technologies here. To get to grips with this technology, you're going to need to know how 3D works. This video is from my Udemy course, Learn to Create WebXR, VR and AR Experiences with 3GS. Get the full course at a great discount by following the link at nicklever.com forward slash courses.